It's time for the Gizwiz with Mad's Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1650, recorded Wednesday, November 22nd, 2017. No place like comb. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have three gadgets from the Wine, Dine, and Demo event. We get 360 degrees of gadgets from these events. Also, I have another crappy corner that'll let you keep a lid on it, and a video from you guys. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, frozen rows of USBs, growing blue and yellow. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now! And here he is, the hostess with the mostest, Dick D. Bartolo. Thank you, Dickie Jack, D. How you doing? How are you? I'm doing great. We're Good. recording we are, early because... We yeah. <laughs> we're recording a day early because we didn't want people to have two turkeys on Thanksgiving. So we're doing this Thanksgiving Eve. Eve. The Eve of Thanksgiving here in America. Yes, yes. It's so funny what traditions come out of the woodworks. I just saw <laughs> a tweet from 538, which is a, uh, they, they cover a lot of analytics and um, kind of numbers. They cover numbers around politics, around sports. But uh, this tweet was all about th uh, Thanksgiving traditions and the regions that have disproportionate amount of side dishes. So like in the South, mac and cheese is very, very popular. Um, in Texas and in the regions around Texas, cornbread is a very big side oh, dish. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Can you think of, the, what would you suspect would be? Well, the, the thing with, with uh, Italian families is that turkey is way down on the list of what you serve. And for, it must have been 20 years <laughs> before my brothers and my sister and I could get my mother to stop, starting with homemade pasta. Hmm. I helped, we made the actual pasta. And then we had uh, antipasto, which is, you know, cheeses and hams and salamis. And then we had uh, either spaghetti or raviolis. And then when everybody was stuffed, they brought out the turkey. And we kept saying, Ma, have all the other dishes another day. Just make the turkey. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, so, but when she got into that, we just had the traditional uh, stuffing with sausage, uh, uh, stuffing with Italian sausage, which was great. And, you know, candied sweets. She knows I like sweets, and so she used to put brown sugar and ma Do you make them with marshmallows? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. And oh, then yeah. under the... And then, well, under we the have marshmallows. And we normally, actually, we have two sweet potatoes. We have one with marshmallows and one with pecans on top. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, so traditional for the, for the, the last 10 years of uh, when we were all living right <laughs> so they, they have passed on and, and what do you have for side dishes uh oh my gosh uh so uh mashed potatoes um of course the uh, sweet potatoes um green bean casserole and rolls let me think oh uh fruit fruit uh, salad fruit salad is always comes out at thanksgiving um no cake no we don't do cake for the desserts, it's it's uh, pecan pie, pumpkin pie, um, and then any other type of pie. Um, oh, okay, okay. But yeah, no cake. We I never had cake for for a side oh, dish. Oh, okay, okay. Here's the uh, image that Five Thirty Eight uh, released, which is the uh, most disproportionately oh. common Thanksgiving side oh, dishes by region. So you oh, can that's see so funny. some of the, the salad whole mac and cheese. Way from the middle salad. of the country to the west coast is salad. <laughs> Which I'm, I don't think we've ever had a salad at our Thanksgiving. I don't think there's ever been salad. Um, and then that's a little hard to see, but that says green bean casserole. That's definitely casserole. at ours. Casserole, right. Rolls and biscuits. That's at ours. Oh, mac and the, cheese. yeah, that's, that's ours too. Right? I've never had mac and cheese at a 
Thanksgiving. Me either. What's funny is I've never had cornbread, and we're we're in cornbread territory, so um, yeah. I don't think we've ever had cornbread. And then squash. I've never had squash at a Thanksgiving either. Yeah, well, I, Dennis I was squash, so I think he's making squash. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess it's all right to eat it if you're not in the proper region. Though, oh, right? yeah. It's, it's just the, it's Thanksgiving. Just, yeah, it's just statistics you can break the statistics <laughs> oh good good yeah, i was exactly. worried yeah was exactly worried. i thought it was a rule yeah Ooh. um so yeah yeah uh thanksgiving's always just fun i just love it love it is it so fun. much it is fun um with that i guess let's jump into some gadgets yeah let's go in so uh as you said we're at wine dine and demo and uh we got a ces you're we, i just found out before the show you're going to ces i'm going to ces Vegas, uh, so we're going to look at a 2018 innovation awards nominee godzilla 360 the first ever all-in-one security and monitoring system that lets you look 360 degree live HD viewing. So here's a video and then we're going to have a demo. Hey, Dick Martolo, Mads, Madness writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Whoa, what is this going to do? Wow, it's a magical ball. No, not really. But Terry's going to tell us what it does, and it's pretty interesting. Uh, and it's called Godzilla. Godzilla. And why? Because uh, it guards your environment and lets you interact with your environment. And unlike all other security cameras, it's 360 degrees. You literally see everything in your environment uh, you live and in high-definition video. Uh, can, can I go on my phone and move the, the view around? You can. Uh, can I see that happening? You can see that. So we have an accelerometer that will move the video, and you can also swipe. And then you can arm the camera with the push of a button. Oh, so in other words, if you want to look around and see the kids and the dog exactly. with the alarm off. Video feed. Uh, and when you want to turn it into a security camera, you just hit the status button. It's disarmed, and now it's armed. And if motion is detected, it'll send you a push or an email or a text. And if you want to arm the siren and motion is detected, it'll have a 100 decibel siren that will blare. That is real. That, that is a great picture on there. Is, is that HD? Is it 1080? It is 1080p. And the price of that is two hundred twenty-nine dollars. And it's a Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Home Depot, Staples. All right. So we have no monthly fee. Just the, the one purchase price. There's no fee. You plug it in. You download the app. You connect it to your home Wi-Fi and you're ready to, to uh, observe your house and interact and protect. You know what, is, is there any limit, like, like can th three or four people tune in and see the video, or is it just one? No, you can share the, uh, you can share the app with, uh, with your family, uh, and you can have multiple cameras all run off the same app. So very convenient, very easy to use, and $229, so a great value. Are you at Godzilla.com? We're at Godzilla.com. Godzilla.com. I like that. Dick Bartolo, Maz Metis Dry there, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at Gizwiz.tv. What he doesn't know is I stole his laptop while he was doing the talking. Okay, bye. <laughs> so, Godzilla. Godzilla. It's, it's really cool. And in, and you have one now. I yes, I, I do have one, and I, and I talked to Terry uh, Beta, who, in my notes, I wrote Chief Dollar Sign Officer. So I assume <laughs> Terry is the, is the Chief Financial Officer. And I said, Terry, uh, can I share this with my co-host uh, so he could see through my camera? And he said, Oh, it's very simple. Uh, just go into your app and hit send invite, which I did. And, and totally forgot I had done it. And then I'm sitting here working, and I hear Dick. And I, I think I'm looking around. I say, "Who's talking to me?" And, and suddenly, Chad is in on my camera. It yeah. has two-way communication, and uh, you got to look around. Actually, can we see what you see? Yeah. So, from my perspective, um, I it sent me an email invite and said, "This email address has now been associated." 
with a invite. So all you have to do is go download the app and then use this email when you sign up and you'll, you'll have the invite. So that was pretty simple. And then once I download the app and get all that squared away, this is kind of the main, uh, main panel. Sorry about the glitchiness on that camera. So I just click monitor and we have Disneyland there and there's the view. And if I want to, I can put it into uh, yeah, landscape Yeah, they mode. said yeah, yeah. They said landscape mode is is better. Yeah, and so there's okay, this, so, right. I think that's is that no no. I'm looking. Well, at the no. Back. So this that's is a, this is there. all my mad stuff, and there now you you're coming around to me and all my monitors, and now I'm top of the world, Ma. I'm top of the world. <laughs> so there's Dick right there. There's the back of his head. And oh, that is so zoom funny. Zoom out and move that around. That is so funny. Yeah. So that and then. Is, for me to talk to you, I had to put it back into this mode, and there's a... I'm not going to do it now, because it might right, get feedback yeah, yeah. loop. We get feedback, yeah. But there's a microphone and uh, the speaker, and so I turned both of those on and was able to communicate two ways uh, to you. So it worked out pretty good. I like that you can yeah. easily invite other people yes. into, the, uh, into your camera. Um, yeah, I, that, is, that is pretty neat. There. It's all, your it's all my... All my mad stuff. Yeah, I can even see the, uh, if I zoom out just a bit, see the whole globe of everything. <laughs> yes, exactly. And you exactly. can uh, see the disco light on the top of the ceiling, too. Yes, yes, there you go, there you go. So, yeah, I thought it was really cool. It kind of gave it's, a new... It's, it's pretty neat, yeah. Neat perspective on, yeah. on everything. And uh, and I like yeah. the fact that you can set the if you go to work and you forgot to set the alarm, you can set the alarm and then you get push notifications if the alarm goes off. Also, something that uh, I don't think any other companies do or if they do, I don't know about it, is you get they hold all your video for two days for free. So if you need oh, that's nice. Yeah. If you need something, you can go back and get it. And then if you want it longer than that, they have plans. I think that started $4.99 uh, a month. And I think that's seven days. And I think you can do more. That is but, fantastic. Because yeah, I have yeah. uh, PetCube. Um, and it stinks because if you don't catch it live, if you're not signed up for the plan and you don't catch it live, it's gone. Um, yeah. So having two days would be I believe awesome. it's two days. Yeah. yeah. Or any time, really. Any time past live. <laughs> Yeah, yes, <laughs> even if exactly. it's just three hours, you know that would be Exa yes. That'd and be also, it, nice. it's compatible with uh, Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa, and works with Nest and Samsung Smart Things. So it, it's can in to be integrated into your smart home. It's it's pretty neat. It's two twenty nine ninety five. Uh, Alexa just heard me say her name. Yeah, um, she's listening. Yeah. And everything, all the info is at uh, Godzilla, spelled G-U-A-R-D, Zilla.com. And I'll put it in the show notes. If you text the numerals 360 to 833-360-3366, you can go in on a live demo or uh, a 3D demo and move around their property or where, wherever they have their camera set up. So it's pretty neat. Yeah, I like it. Guardzilla. Um, I don't think I've seen other 360 security cameras. I've only no, I think seen... they said they were the first. Yeah. And they, they, they started, they've been in business for a while doing security cameras. So this is their third one. They make an outdoor security camera and indoor security. This is their first 360. Yeah. And the way that works is it just uses one camera pointed straight up with a super wide angle lens, like an uber wide angle lens. Yes. Um, so that's what you're going to be expecting from, from that is, uh, it, it'll, it'll be a little distorted cause it's so wide angle, but you get 360 degrees of view, uh, which on most security cameras you don't. So that's the, the trade off there. So yeah. guardzilla, all one word, dot com, basically how you expect to spell it. Cool. Okay, so uh, another thing I saw, it's only been out for two weeks from Kodak. And um, when I got home and checked something out, I'll tell you something kind of funny about this product. But let's look at the Kodak Printomatic.
Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Uh, you know, a couple weeks ago we did uh, the new Polaroid camera. We're going to talk about a new camera from Kodak, and Megan's going to take my picture. Something Ooh, candid. Say cheese. Okay. <laughs> Something very candid. Uh, and then we're going to wait for this to print. In the meantime, I'm going to ask, uh, the camera is only about two weeks old? Correct. So it's been shipping only just a few weeks. Okay. And how many megapixels is the lens on this? We've got 10 megapixels on this. 10 baby. megapixels. Okay. And it uses that uh, film zero zinc. Ink. Zero, yeah. zinc. Zinc technology printing. So zero ink. Zero. Exactly. Okay. So it's printing now. Uh, so it prints little wallet size guys. And now this does not have, you cannot print from other sources. You cannot. There will probably be cameras in the future that you will be able to do that with, but not this one. Okay. So this guy prints smaller pictures, and I assume the uh, price of the pictures is less than the Polaroids because it's smaller. Is that right? I couldn't tell you what, uh, I don't know what Polaroids okay, is, okay. but uh, we've got about 49 cents a print. Okay, okay, that is exactly half of what a Polaroid is. What are the other devices on your table? That's what it was. Sure, so we have here the Kodak Photo Printer Mini and the Kodak Photo Printer Dock. So now, are they Bluetooth? They are Wi-Fi connected. Wi-Fi. They, they use a personal Wi-Fi connection, yes. Now, do they develop the Wi-Fi connection so that you can do it with... Uh, your phone? Exactly, exactly. So you don't need to be tapped into like this building's Wi-Fi connection, for example. The local. And what is the retail price on those guys? Um, so we've got $99.99 and $139.99. And the Printomatic is $69.99. Okay, the, the new camera. Oh, that's, that's really great. So if you want an instant camera and you don't need all the bells and whistles, this is an easy way to get into it at $69.99. And it comes in this color and kind of the Kodak yellow. And the classic Kodak yellow. And uh, in the future, we'll have some more uh, colors to come. Some more stuff. Okay. Uh, Dick D. Bartolo, Maz Medis, Ryder, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv at Kodak and their new uh, instant printing camera. Bye. Cool. I love these instant print cameras. Uh, uh well, it's very funny because you, I'm seeing more and more of them, and and they seem to attract a fair amount of attention. Yeah. Uh, at, at at trade shows. Yeah. Now, what the funny thing about it was when I was reading the press materials when I got home, it said, uh, "C A Global is proud to have partnered with Kodak." in the ever-growing digital camera market. And I said, wait a minute, oh. CA Global, I know that name. And I went back to <laughs> press releases from a couple of weeks ago. So they hold the licensing for Polaroid <laughs> and, and for Kodak. That is very funny. So okay. we were actually just talking about this in the Twitch chat room as people were saying, oh, Kodak, that's not a name I've heard recently. And people were speculating you know, is or I was speculating even, I, you know, is the, has the name been sold? Are they really just partnering? You know, obviously. Yeah, you know, according to the press here? I know, according to the press release, it seems that someone at Kodak or someone who uses the name Kodak came up with the camera and CA Global is distributing it. Uh, the thing is, uh, it's not directly from Kodak because to start out with, Kodak would have everything ironed out. And there's a great deal of confusion because on Amazon, some people say, I got an, a memory card. And some people said, the box says you get a memory card. I got no memory card. And I, I got in touch with a PR agency. And they said, the camera does not come with a memory card, but takes any size SD micro card that you have. But then on their web, on the, the Kodak website, the pseudo Kodak website. It says camera includes a 10 pack of Kodak zinc photo paper and a memory card. <laughs> uh, Nobody knows what's going on. 
Exactly. Yeah. No, but nobody sort of knows what's going on. Everybody seemed to get uh, a 10 pack of film uh, of the uh, photo paper. I guess it's not film. Uh, so the pictures are only two by three, but they're 49 cents versus a dollar for the uh, ones that the Polaroid does. And when she said what led me to think that the same company is probably building both is when I said, can you print to this camera from your phone and she said no but that may be coming so my <laughs> guess is whatever uh, they'll probably just swap the, the the technology back and forth right since they own own both brands right cool um, yeah this but, is i yeah. think it's new emerging it's yes. kind of the same people you know the same type of people who like scrapbooking or who like you know physical memories you know that whole you know there's a whole swath of people who love that Want to go to an event, take a photo, and print it, and have a physical, you know, memorabilia, you know. Yes, yes, well, like Thanksgiving exactly. and whatever Christmas holiday exactly. you celebrate, you can uh, holiday you celebrate, you can have an instant picture. Right. And it's it's fast. It's it's under a minute, and they're small, and they adhesive backed. If you want to peel it off and stick it on something, and you're right, people love to go home yeah. with a, a little uh, souvenir. Stop having your your photos live on the device. You know, get them off the phone into someone's hand uh, is the is the way to go. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing that has not taken off is uh, digital photo. A frame. Chad, that's so funny. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. Chad, there were two companies at the Wine Dine and Demo mm -hmm. with photo frames. Was and one new? of them, one of them, I thought, are they kidding? Because they were $200, $300, and $400. No, no. I, I, I said, no. Can you, can you do anything? but see pictures on them. And they said, our new $500 one <laughs> will oh, be able. For that much, oh my gosh, for that much, get an, 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 uh, an Echo Show. You know, the yeah. Amazon, you know, like for that much, get an iPad, a used iPad. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I could ever imagine a photo frame coming out and being a new product is if they did an e-ink color photo frame. If it was e-ink, so oh, it looked like yeah. a real photo uh, with the same you know thing, and, and it was a color, obviously, color e-ink. Uh, that's the only possible way that I could imagine um, that working. Because yeah, that would look uh, interesting. Because e-ink is also very thin, a, fit, a thin technology, uses very little battery, so you wouldn't have to have a cord running... You know, hopefully you wouldn't have to have a cord running up your coffee table or wherever you decide yes, to set it. Yes. Um, in fact, the coolest thing I could think of would would be to uh, make it huge, which would probably hurt the cost of it. Make it huge and actually put a real frame around it, and you could put it on the wall. You know, that would yeah. be, I think, the coolest thing. Yeah. So. But well, uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see, see at CES if we'll uh, photo frames is the. They, uh, maybe someone fig figured, hey. Instant photography is coming back. Let's bring. Let's be the first to bring back photo frames. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's not the same magic between the two of them. No. Definitely uh, not. Yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And it's just also like photo frames never kind of went in the direction that I expected them to go, which was super high density screens that were like you know that looked like retina screens. You know, every photo frame I've ever seen is like a normal. Te television monitor or like you know computer monitor quality with yeah. I, they just didn't seem to to really uh go where i wanted them to yeah anyway. and especially at those, at those, those price points Prices, because, yeah what the heck uh yeah i know i mean you can buy a four you can buy a 4k tv nowadays yeah. for what 300 the bucks yeah and, mm. and they've been like thick old technology and haven't i haven't liked them at all so <laughs> With that, um, okay, so our final guy is something for the DIY. Do it yourself, the DIY. I always get those, those initials mixed up. Uh, for the do it yourself uh, person, let's take a look at something from Works. 
Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads Metis writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. We're at the Pepcom Holiday event, and this is a neat little work table here, and Mike is going to tell us what all these doodads do. What do the doodads do? Well, these doodads are what you call little table dogs. And these table dogs, there's four of them. And you can put them in different configurations on the table so you can lock down a 2x4, a 1x6, a 1x12. And there's integrated storage not only on the top, but on the bottom of the table too. What's nice about this table is that it can hold up to 300 pounds. You've got a little channels here where you can put fasteners and screws and things like that. I see there are built-in rulers here also. Built-in grooves. There's also a measuring scale, both in metric and also in... Um, now, the thing is, Mike, I live in a really little apartment. So is there a place to store this or a way to store it? Well, what's nice about it is that you can go to these corner tabs and turn these table locks. Oh, okay. Yeah, this guy got is a little locked still there. Lift that up, and then Jenny here is going to fold up the table legs, and you put it in the case, and then just close the case. Oh, wow! You got 13 pounds of storage there. You can put it in the closet, put it in the garage, put it in the back of the truck, the trunk of the car. It's only fifty-nine dollars. Wow. Uh, how much? Fifty-nine. $59, okay, and it's called the Works? It's the Works Sidekick Folding Work Table. The Works Sidekick Folding Work Table. That is really great. If you have a small apartment or not enough room in the garage, you can have a little work stand right there. It's out now? It's out now. You can find it at works.com and also on Amazon. On Amazon. I like that. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. I like that a lot. Uh, someone who has a garage, does a few projects a year requiring woodworking, or, uh, you know, I you know, made this set, this, this right here, you know, made in, in my garage. Um, I like that a lot. It also seems no. like something that could go for camping or... Yes. Really yeah, I was going to say, uh, it, it wasn't until I went to their website when I saw people tailgating yeah. and using it as a little dining table. And you're right. Kids were using it uh, as a craft table and it, it falls up easily. The, the, those legs are metal. And as Mike in the video said, it, it holds up to 300 pounds. Uh, not a bad price, $59. And if you have other uh, works uh, benches, they have these little link locks where you can uh, put uh, different things that they make together to form a bigger wo uh, work surface. So it is a clever idea. And, and I like the idea that you can store it easily under a bed or in a closet. Yeah. So, I think yeah. that's really, really great. Um, I mean, oh, yeah, get it on Amazon. I think it's $10 cheap. Yeah, yeah. This is just their website. Their MSRP is higher than, than uh, the normal. But, yeah, I've seen um, a lot of people in their own uh, shops have, have something like this where that you can put in little troughs to keep your 2x4 or whatever staying steady so it's easier to clamp. It doesn't move back and forth. Um, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I like this uh, standard work table standard, yes, I love versus it. the sidekick. And it's, this was like a little checklist, like comparing the I, two. I, I, I always love those. I lo <laughs> love it. Very good. F cool. I love that. And also pretty good price. Pretty good price. Um, I could see that if there was a big project and I knew that I needed an extra thing instead of trying to go buy some table saws and uh, put it, something down, this would be the right choice. So. The works Easy way. sidekick portable work table. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your third turkey yo, of yo, the week. Yo, ha, don't don't you might hit. want it at Chad's <laughs> Crappy Corner. Oh, my. Get it. Get it. Okay, oh, so whoa. we are in the uh, cooking or kitchen month, things for the kitchen, which I love because of Thanksgiving. And uh, this is one more for, uh, you know, for outdoor use or for kid use. Um, and it is called Can Caps. This um, is pretty, a really, really simple 
uh, gadget, hopefully, as long as it doesn't go, you know, awry in some, in some fashion. But there are caps for your soda cans to stop things like bugs from getting in. It shows a little bug right there on the top of the, uh, uh, on, uh, on top uh, of the cap. Okay. And then also it shows that uh, one of these cans could fall over and it would stay oh. tight. So I haven't tested them out yet. This is going to be a live okay. demo of uh, the can. As you short out the one ca the uh, one caster. <laughs> exactly, the mono caster. <laughs> the mono dies caster. a horrible death because uh, it got soda all over it. So it comes with four, and I found this oh. online for about four dollars. Um, I wow. picked this up in Bed Bath and Beyond for close to ten dollars. So. Uh, it's, it's definitely better online. Oh, hello, Waffles. Waffles is going to help me uh, test this out. <laughs> uh, so, cat approved. <laughs> yeah, kitty cat approved. So first off, uh, just checking out the, the actual cap. It's kind of a softer plastic. And this cap, you know, moves forward to close. And that I, that's a pretty good seal. I can just, just from feeling it, you can tell that it clips uh, quite nicely. So we also have some cold sodas here. Of course, we didn't want to... You know, only the best here for Gizwiz. So first you open it, and then you'll set the cap on top. And let's see, there we go. Right. Oh, Snap okay, right on. I heard that lock. Yeah, that locked right in. And then I'll take a, a, a sip just to see if it gets in the way. Okay. Let's see if there are any bugs in there. No bugs. Look, now no waffles bugs. can't okay. get in. Um, yeah, it, the grate gets away in a little bit, but it doesn't like uh, it doesn't make it go anywhere. You know, it's it's just a little bit obstructs flow. Don't step on the monocaster cat. We're gonna <laughs> start. start she doesn't like the way the show is switched. <laughs> exactly. Let's get some close-ups here. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Okay, so and then there's just a little bit of like you know soda left. On this is a kind of a clear soda, so it's a little bit hard to see on the camera. But there's a little bit of soda left right yep. there. Yep. All right. Okay. But the real test is: could you give this to a child, and if they spilled it when it was closed, or if you gave it to you know an <laughs> yeah. adult and they spilled it when it was closed? Okay. If Get it ready would to leak, buy a new keyboard. If it would leak, so. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh oh! Good thing it did it over the cooler. Yeah, exactly. I think what happened mm -hmm. was I I tilted it and uh, the carbon dioxide kind of press pushed out. Um, ah, <laughs> it leaks a bit. Mm. It leaks a bit. Uh, not a exactly bit. as uh, sealed. Well, you wouldn't lose your whole can of soda if you knocked yeah, it over. Exactly. If you were fast. Exactly. Exactly. So it could it could knock over. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, you know, you know what? Take that one off and just put another one. I in was there. exactly gonna do just that. Okay, so we'll we'll and switch off of the, the orange one and go to the uh, the blue one here. I like that. Uh, that click is reassuring. Yeah, and then this this cap even clicks on. You know. So oh that's yeah. Reassuring too. So let's okay. test this one. Eh, no, no drips that out of this better. one. Oh. I spoke too soon. <laughs> spoke too soon. So, okay. and that was coming out of the top. So it it yeah it it gives more time than it would if it was yes it exactly have, it inhibits it inhibits spilling. the flow of water. Um, the other cool thing is that there's colors. There's four different colors. Oh, so that's on, good. So on top of um, the ceiling factor, on top of making sure that bugs don't get in. Um, it, you'll, it's also easy to determine whose can is whose if we all have the, uh, the same, you know, drink, actual can. Okay. And what's the name of the product? This is the Can Cap. Can Caps, can locking cap. tops. Um, you can, uh, it says prevents spills. <laughs> I don't know if that's, um, keeps insects mm. out and it is a, a four That's pack. for sure. Right. Uh, this is from Jakari. J -O -K -A -R -I. Oh, yeah, yeah, they make a ton of little gadgety yeah. things. Um, and so here it is online. Let's go ahead and switch over to that. Yep. Um, it's only five bucks, so you could get it for uh, very, very uh, inexpensive there. Yeah, online. a buck and a quarter each. Yeah, exactly. Pretty highly reviewed, 500 You know what, the reviews, reviews are pretty good. 500 reviews, holy cow. 
Um, yeah, that's a, that is a lot of reviews. Um, so yeah, and they, they all seem to like it. Um, this is prime, three day shipping for free with, for prime oh. membership. Um, not quite prime two day, you know, super prime. Um, but still free shipping for, for three day shipping. So yeah, it's uh, cheap. It's, uh, it seems pretty good and um, prevents spills. It's, it is not spill proof. No, it is spill right. resistant, uh, <laughs> yeah, as you exactly. may say. Exactly, exactly. Um, so I could, see, and it's also they're really small and compact. So I could see if you're camping, this would not be a difficult addition to your chuck box if if you were going to carry this around with you. So there you go, the can caps. You know, uh, they probably keep the fizz in a little longer too. Yeah, I think I could I could see that too. Yeah, because yeah. it's pretty pretty tight. Yeah, probably not for. I think it would just extend maybe twenty percent more if I was to guess. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. You know, exactly. not not like but it's something. Keep it's, it forever. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. By the way, I wanted to give a little bit of an update on the hover cover, which was the last um, yeah, episodes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so my mother actually went and bought one, and she she pointed out something funny that I didn't I didn't realize. Inside of the hover cover box, there was the instruction manual. Okay, but there was one other piece of paper, <laughs> which was very interesting that she pointed out to me. Uh, it is the customer rights and attribution agreement. It is a whole piece of paper dedicated to if you want to sue them, how you would go through the process of suing them. Um, attribution, attribution procedures, legal limitation of legal remedies, resolution of claims or disputes. I assumed that this was the warranty information, but it is a list uh, on if you want to sue the company, how you would go. <laughs> you, you know, it's about... funny. I, I thought I remember seeing something like that and something I got. I wonder if it's a new regulation that products need to tell people how you can sue them, sue companies. I, <laughs> That I was so, bizarre. I was so, it was very that, bizarre. Very, very bizarre. bizarre. So, um, <laughs> there you go. Choice of law and severability. It, that is a riot. Yeah. That's the instruction start with dear suing person. <laughs> dear, dear suing party. Um, <laughs> That's exactly. Yeah. So this is the terms of lawsuit. Um, Before you sue us, please read these instructions carefully. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, they've made it very convenient to sue, is really what it is. It's just, you know, if you're going to sue us, here's, here's who you call. Here's who you mail your, your litigation to. Um, it tells you that, I, I think this is telling you, you will be responsible for no more than $125 of administration <laughs> expenses. We can, your attribution claim can, no, can be no larger than $10,000 U.S. dollars. Wow. This is very weird. Anyway, I uh, thought that was uh, pretty funny uh, inside the hover cover. Uh, <laughs> so just a little update on that. With that, let's Excellent. move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy when gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Dog Horn. Horn. All right. Our uh, viewer video is from a chat room regular, Bleak, who is going to tell us about, I believe, not an old phone, but a new phone that retails for only $55. Wow. So, yeah, an Android phone. So let's take a look at uh, Bleak's, uh, a.k.a. Steve Teapot, video. Hi, Dickie D and OMG Chad. Bleak here. I thought I'd share with you something from my gadget warehouse. That is not a $50 I phone. I recently got this, and it's quite a an impressive box. device indeed. Uh, let me just get this out of the way. <laughs> it is a very good so yes 6s i got this from aliexpress for the grand price of 55 us dollars 
And believe it or not, it is a fully featured Android phone. That looks so small. I bought this because all the Twit people had bought uh, the jelly phone, which I was pretty jelly of. <laughs> and I decided to look on AliExpress and found this little beauty. As you can see, it's styled on everybody's favorite fruit related phone. Um, I imagine it's sort of styled on the 6S based on its general appearance. Um, everything on it works apart from the flash for some reason doesn't seem to turn on, which is a bit annoying. Um, but everything else on it is as you'd expect. That's so itty bitty. It is tiny. So I'll show you Get some maps going. Um, the refresh rate on the screen is not present in real life. It's an artifact of the camera. Um, but as you can see, when it decides to load up, it loads up all right. It does what you'd expect it to do. Um, zooms in, what have you. There's a tiny little speaker on it here. Um, works for phone calls pretty well. It's got eight gigs of <laughs> memory. Those icons um, are tinier than your or pinky. storage, should I say, and I believe one gig of RAM. As you can see, I'm running Nova Launcher because the default launcher was styled to look like an iPhone. Um, but yeah, you can do whatever you'd expect of a phone normally. Here's, here's VLC running. I got a ACDC song, of course, because I'm Australian, so, you know, got to, got to rep the ACDC. Um, let me just skip along here. Yeah, okay, I got it, I got it. Turn it up. It's not bad. I mean, you're not going to rock the party with this thing, but... <laughs> It'll certainly do the job for a backup music player or something. Um, let me just pause ACDC there. So here's a golf game, and I'm just gonna have a bit of a putt here. <laughs> oh. This is a little comically yeah. small. The see, screen is tinier than his index finger. <laughs> um, I guess he, he said he use, is gonna though, use so it as a backup back phone. Up. Yeah. I know over um, Twitter they're all calls, raving over GPS, it. You know, it's a jelly phone, right? Micro SD I, slot I've heard a little bit and about. dual SIM. The idea that oh, dual you SIM. can't fit a headphone jack on phones is ridiculous, considering there you are, headphone jack. Charges with micro USB. But most importantly, it's great for kicking back and enjoying your favorite websites. And of course, my favorite website is the Gizwiz. So let me just <laughs> YouTube. It doesn't seem to like your HD video. I think this phone a little bit, a little bit too, uh, a little bit too. I don't little think the website was optimized for HD video, but. Does it go? Oh, it, it, oh, it does. Okay. You can see it plays YouTube pretty well. I won't bore you with your oh own Oh my show. god, I actually heard your um, voice. Along with the phone, it came pretty well packaged, as you saw before. Um, comes supplied with rip-off headphones. Don't leave home without them. And I paid a whopping one US dollar for an extra battery because <laughs> I didn't really trust how long this thing would last. I think these are, yeah, 1100 milliamp hours. So <laughs> that's pretty good. A double a. The mileage may vary. <laughs> Not something you'd want to, you know, rely on, but good as a backup phone for sure. And then last but not least, the qualified certificate. <laughs> You know, every oh great my God. Chinese now device you're talking. has to have a qualified certificate to let you know it's yes, qualified. Yes, and I like it when the stamp so is actually qualified. printed on. <laughs> right. That's one item from my gadget warehouse that I thought you guys might enjoy. And I will see you around. That is hilarious. Very, very <laughs> funny. Um, yes. Maybe that's another trend, tiny phones. Yeah, uh, itty bitty smartphones. Like, yeah, I, I, it was, uh, who's the big tall guy over at Twit? Uh, um, blocking uh, his name. Uh, Jason Howell. Jason Howell had the jelly phone. Yeah. And I think he liked it. 
kind of for the same thing that it's like a, a secondary phone. I guess maybe if you have kids who definitely want a smartphone and you want to invest uh, $55, that might be a way to go. And they would have the luxury of having small fingers. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. The Jelly Phone is, is basically the idea is that it's an idi- the world's smallest 4G phone, as you can oh, see 4G. here. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, that is really tiny. It fits in the tiny pocket, the pocket that was made to wear, to have a pocket watch. Uh, it fits in that pocket. Oh my word, that's um, even, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can get the Jelly or the Jelly Pro. The Jelly Pro has two gigs of RAM versus the one gig. But the, the, the jelly, jelly Pro looks like it's 180 bucks, right? Yeah, it's it's expensive uh, compared to just the normal Jelly phone. Here we are, early Jelly times two. That's uh, oh times go. two. There's the Jelly. Oh. The Jelly phone is 95. This is all Kickstarter at the moment. Right. Okay. And so the just the Jelly. Oh my gosh, I have to, I hate going through all these different pledges. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, I believe that it was really, really inexpensive, like in the fifty to eighty dollar range. Oh, okay. And I the same range. But I can't quite <laughs> pin down a price. Um, so yeah, <laughs> it looks like almost a miniature house version of a phone. You know, like a dollhouse version of a oh, phone. Oh yes, yes, Ken and Bobby phone. <laughs> Yeah, Ken and Bobby's smartphone. When he load loaded up our website, it was like, oh, it's so adorable. It's so small. <laughs> like, I have never seen uh, something that small. Yeah, the, there's jelly phones on Amazon for 130, but I think that that is a price hike uh, over the the normal thing. And I'm not sure, oh, okay. but it could it could be 130 dollars. Um, but th- you know, there's definitely a class of people out there that want the smallest phone. You know, they don't want a massive gigantic phone like uh the times have been uh creating so uh perfect <laughs> it's very 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 thank funny. you bleak thank you so much bleak um and then also you can send in uh, more videos we're looking for more videos more videos uh you know one to three minutes uh, a video pretty much anything that involves a gadget a gadget you just bought a gadget you bought and hated a gadget that you can throw out because it's been sitting in the garage for 20 years. Those we really love. We love when we can talk about technology of the past and how <laughs> when you bought it and it was new, everybody would go, what? My first Casio camera, uh, I just found it again. And I remember it was $650 and it took 30 pictures and had no flash and uh, the woman said, you mean you, the, the picture is saved in that camera and you can actually download it on your computer. It was, it was like, like an amazing thing, an amazing thing. Um, anyway, so a quickie video and put it on YouTube. You can click, uh, unlisted when you do that. So only people with the URL have it and send us that URL. And that goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. If you live in the U.S. or Canada, sorry, Bleak, uh, you'll get a Mad Magazine and Alfred E. Newman uh, picture. But Bleak, I'm going to email you an Alfred E. Newman picture. going to sign it to you and scan it, Uh, which I did for someone. And they said, this is amazing. No one would ever know that you didn't sign it in person. Uh, So send us your video. And if you want a Mad Make sure we have the video by December 15th. Matt is moving to California and taking the postal scale and the postage meter with them. So uh, after December 15th, I'll only be sending out Alfred E. Newman pictures to people in the U.S., but scans autographed to you anywhere in the world. So do it now. Uh, With that, let's jump into the letter. Okay, and the letter says, forward this, tell Chad about this. If Chad doesn't read the emails, um, we had, let's see, I think it was last week or the week before, 
someone did a video about the cat at fountain, which solved the problem of their cat drinking out of the fishbowl. Um, and so Doug Clemen, who says I'm a, a Gizwiz Patreon supporter, says, Dick, tell Chad that cat it. C A T I T has lots of lots of cool cat gadgets. I just sent this as a gift to a YouTube cat person, uh, Lucky Ferrells. It's the Cat It Senses 2.0 Self Groomer. Oh, uh, yeah, this is going to be great. It's my on cat. sale. Uh, it is on sale. Oh my gosh! For yes, he said it's on sale. Five bucks. For just four ninety nine. Holy cow! Yeah, I need a. I absolutely will get that because my cat loves my comb so much that she will camp out when I'm taking a shower. Because after I t take a shower, I'll dry my hair and then grab a comb and comb it into where I want it so it'll dry in that position. So she knows that I'm going to pick up that comb. She oh my loves it. Oh my gosh. So she'll sit there and wait patiently for 20 minutes just <laughs> for the chance, for the opportunity to rub her face up against the comb. She loves the bristles of the comb. Oh my oh, this is you should better get a couple of them. So I'll just pull, I'll just hold it right there and she'll just rub her face up against it. This is Waffles who who has uh, discovered the, the wonders of the comb. Yeah. So this well, you know, maybe perfect. you can attach this to something, right? Yeah, it goes on the corner of a wall, it looks oh, like. Oh, 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 great. Yeah, it goes just right on the corner of a wall. And so uh, you'll just stick it on there, and then the cat will rub his face up or her face up against it as much as possible. Nice. Yeah, I could absolutely nice. see this. Uh, going over very well. Oh, yeah. Chad, don't get the two-pack. This is a traditional Amazon screw-up. One of them is $4.99. Two is just uh, $25. $25? The three-pack cost $36. Yeah, $36. Or... Would you, you could just spend five dollars, four ninety nine, and say three, $12. please. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> um, so yeah, this is perfect. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely gonna get this for the cats. At five dollars, it's a no no brainer um, to keep them, you know, groomed. And also, <clears throat> like when she's so excited for the comb, I'm always in the back of my head thinking like. Is there something that that I'm doing wrong? Like you needed to be groomed more, and and uh, I'm doing something bad to my cats. Well, this will just let them uh, figure it out. I'm afraid they yes, might judge, yes, be judge there forever. Themselves. Yeah, uh, the cat is, uh, is 2.0 self groomer. Yeah, and so Doug, thank you for the suggestion. Thank you for being a Patreon supporter mm -hmm. of the Gizwiz. Yeah, big thanks, big big thanks. Uh, you know what? Let me just give a big thanks to all of our patron supporters at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys support the show every single week. Big thanks to you guys. Really, the show would not happen without you. Uh, just absolutely, absolutely the biggest shout outs to you guys. You know who you are who support every week. Um, it, I mean, we're, we're getting ready for kind of the biggest gadget season of them all, CES. Yes. Um, book flights for me and Dick and hotels, and uh, I'll be bringing along Josh as well. So all of those expenses come uh, directly from your generosity. So thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for, for all of your generous uh, donations or every single week, every single time we do the show. Um, if you don't want to give uh, reoccurring every week, you can give one time via PayPal, gizwiz.com, gizwiz.tv, sorry, uh, and then click the, the Patreon button and then scroll down and there's a PayPal link. Um, and uh, thanks everyone for your support. We are viewer supported. Very, every once in a while we might get a sponsorship, but believe me, uh, really we couldn't do the show without um, our patron supporters. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This is our 133rd independent show. We're coming up on like, what, three years? Uh, let's see, be 50, 50, 51, yeah. 
Coming up to three years wow. in like 15 weeks. Wow. Wow. Big, big. I mean, really, every time. Yeah, no, it's super. I it's think of that. Super. I think of our patrons because we wouldn't be here without the patrons um, supporting. So big thanks to you guys. No, it, it, it's, it's true. And you can give anything if you want to do 25 right. cents a show, 50 cents a show. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, also, let's go play What the Heck Is It? Gizwiz.biz is the place to do that. Uh, this is the, the show, uh, the, the, the game show within the show. Uh, <laughs> so you can uh, head on over there, click What the Heck Is It on the sidebar. And this is the gadget that we're trying to figure out what the heck it is. Um, and uh, it's pretty obvious to me that this is the start of a snowboard ramp for carrots. Uh, definitely <laughs> uh, a nice slalom ramp there for, for you know, your carrot uh, winter activities. Uh, if you think you know what this is, you can get a guessin'. There's 12 Mad Magazines for correct answers, 24 for hilarious, clever, funny, or ridiculous answers. Get a guessin' if you want those Mad Magazines from Dick. Uh, gizwiz.biz and this is this is the last time you'll be able to get a, the a, last time you a magazine uh, so the... out of all of the ones to play this is the one so get your guesses over there uh, be creative be funny and uh, come up with your own reason for this gadget to exist uh, and this game ends December 17th December 17th okay, not, a lot right, sooner because mad closes December 22nd we got to get, get these mad magazines out of here. Um, yes, exactly. So, uh, with that, uh, you can also check out the show live. We should be back on track, back on schedule, normal schedule, uh, next week. And for a few more weeks until we get into uh, Christmas season. Um, but, yeah, so that's uh, we record every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific time, 7.30 Eastern time, 6.30 Central time. 5.30 Mountain Time over at gizwiz.tv. Uh, we'll, we'll just be live uh, around that time. Just go there and you can join the chat room and uh, talk to all the beautiful people that are in the chat room with us. Uh, if uh, you don't want to catch it live, we record the show and put it up on a podcast just for you guys. There's RSS links on the website as well as links to YouTube so you can just catch it on demand there. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Gizwiz and we will see you next week. And I'll be here. <laughs> <laughs>